sticks and stones You throw them my way to make a point But I don't have hollow bones So you'll never take away my voice You used to be like home But now the whole place is so destroyed And I'll survive on my own How are we doing, everyone? Man, I am exhausted. But it's good to be on, even if it's going to be a short show today. But there was an extra one on Friday.
ready? It's going to be a short one today. But a good one. Happy Wednesday. I want to say a huge thank you for everyone who has stuck around the last 30 minutes. I was trying to work out when I could get home. Uh, I was in Camden uh, today for work. Uh, I've been in a studio filming this amazing series with brilliant people from across the tech industry. Uh, the theme is all about the age of empathy and it's called PeepSec 2022. It's a part of the CyberSafe company I now work for. Um, I've conducted some of the interviews, uh, but I will be talking about it in due course. But what I would say is if you are interested, it is the world's only 100% virtual, 100% free uh, conference on people and technology. Uh, and the Age of Empathy is a great one. So I'm just putting in the chat now. It is as simple as www.peepsec.com. Uh, it's taking place in June. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have a colleague of mine join me uh, probably in the next month or so to talk a bit about it. Um, and it really goes to the heart of why I feel lucky to work for such a company because we want to fundamentally transform the way that society addresses uh, the human aspects of cybersecurity. And with that bold vision, um, there's a very real human feeling to everything we do. We want to help people. We want to get out of people's way ways and empower them so that people are safer online, not just at work, but in home as well. Um, so with that said, uh, I went for a, a quick drink with my uh, boss afterwards and I thought I could be cutting this fine and I did because by the time my train got back to where I am, it was one minute to nine and it's a 20 minute, well it's a, it's a 15 minute walk home if I take the shortcut through the woods but it was getting dark and it was like this blanket of mist across the fields. And I thought, you know what? I don't fancy this tonight. And so, uh, yeah, um, I set the timer at 20 past. I've actually not eaten today. I, I, I normally don't have breakfast. I did have breakfast first thing, but I've not eaten since. So this is going to be a short show today, everybody. Um, I just wanted to show up because you showed up. And I think that's really, really important. There is a topic today. Um, and also, there was a bit of a technical issue. This live stream, right, is different to the one that was scheduled. Yeah? Am I right? Um, and look at all these beautiful people saying, hey. Hey, Lucas. And we've got Big Harry Marty. Hello, hello. We've got Mojo. It's very interesting. Definitely, definitely, please check it out. Peepsec.com. Link is there. Uh, and, you know, sign up. It's free. Uh, and it's going to be great. Lots and lots of... I think there's like over 20 guests that we'll be interviewing and you know what not every conversation is going to be for you but you've got 20 to choose from and I do some of them so uh it makes me uh really want to get back on on the road with the podcast um Joanna I really appreciate that um yeah I wanted to show up I wanted to show up um yeah yeah I wasn't I wasn't in the mood for it today so yeah, I'm going to be on here for 25 minutes. I'm, I'm going to be mindful and say I don't think we're going to have time to play the word game today, which I'm really sad to say. Um, but we did an extra live show on Friday because when I normally do um, PSVR Games Cast Live with Brian on PSVR About Parole, um, he's been taking a break, which is very important when you're starting to get burnt out. It's important to step away, especially in this digital space where it's never never ending. You know, when you think of traditional broadcast television, things are done in seasons. They're done in segments where you might do in the UK six episodes, in the US 20 something episodes. But then you take a break and then you come back again. With social media, it's just this weekly constant schedule. The uh, attention economy that you're competing for. And so we often don't give ourselves breaks. And I very may very well take a break uh, in the coming weeks. Um, I am not going to be on PSVR about Pro this Friday, unfortunately. I, I'm not sure if Brian's going ahead with it on Friday. I think he might still be taking a break. But I'm going to with my band to London to see Architects play at Alexandra Palace, which is going to be awesome. Um, so I'm going to be in London for that um but uh yeah so i did a, an extra show on friday because the games cast wasn't happening 11 o'clock at night 
a lot of game cats as the community is called were eager for a live show uh, and so i did one here and it was a great introduction of sort of the stuff we do and we just talked about vr but we did play the word game and we did hit a new record uh we got to level 19 so that is one for us to beat on future weeks so we will get back to it um yeah having a break off social media it's just good to step away completely because if you step away and you're like uh, constantly thinking about when you're going to come back that's not healthy that's not switching off and one way i'd explain it is there are many times where i will get to a weekend and it's like okay i've got two days now off how am i going to spend it well i've got a list of things i want to do but it's also important to relax and the worst thing you can do which is what i've done many many times is okay well on saturday I'm going to do these things and I'm going to rest as well. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do these things and then rest. And you know what? You end up having two days where you never fu are never fully productive and you have two days where you never fully relax. And so the ideal situation, but you can do it in any order you want, is sometimes it's like, okay, Saturday is the recharge. Completely treat yourself and then recharge. You can go into Sunday and get all the stuff you wanted done. On the flip side, you can go into Saturday and go for it with all the things you want to get done that weekend. Because once you get it done, you get to Sunday and it's like, okay, I can now treat myself because I've got nothing hanging over my head. The risk there is you might not get everything you wanted done uh, on the Saturday. And then you might have that hanging over your head. So a big important part of life is learning to let go with, with tasks. Okay, I've got some uh, photos on my uh, phone that I'm going to share. Um... One of them I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share, but I'm going to do it anyway because I've been working on this. Um, <laughs> here we go. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to show this photo as well. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to just show a load of photos. Why not? Why not? Oh, I'm, going to, I'm just showing some food photos. <laughs> I'm just going to be showing you here we go. I'm just going to show you a load of photos I've got. Great. Why not? Let's do photo time. I like doing that on the show. Although I've got loads of photos scheduled on my feed that I need to like delete. Um, yes, level 19. We will beat it sometime. You say that about leaving automated messages. I hate scheduling stuff. I know you've got to do it in terms of work and that and plan ahead. I hate scheduling. I love to do stuff in the moment. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. Cool. Right. God, I'm starving. I actually did some food shopping yesterday when I got home from work at eight o'clock. And you know, the worst time to do food shopping is when you're hungry because you fill up that basket way more than you should. But I was pretty good. But yeah, photo time, photo time. Here we go. Right. So let's have a look here. Downloads. So here are some of the photos. Well, firstly, I'm going to show you this was one of the fields on my walk home tonight. Um, so I was talking about this blanket, but whenever you take photos, you never fully get a sense of the fog. It was a lot foggier than what it looks like, but, um, it was a nice view. It was a nice view. Um, for sure. Deleting completely. I'm not for, I'm not for, um, all right. Oh, it's not a photo. It's a video. All right. I'm going to show this. Hopefully I don't get in trouble with my work. I won't. I'm going to mute it and pause it quickly. So I've just paused it. Uh, I'm not going to play it. So this was uh, the studio. Uh, on the right is Joe, uh, who is my manager. Brilliant, brilliant man. I went for him a drink uh, later. Love working with him and he was having a conversation with Sarah about tech and specifically about the way that we communicate. Um, yeah, there were no zombies in that field. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. Um, but this is the studio we've been set up. And so we have a little auto queue set up and uh, I've just been managing this project, making sure. Got a lot of people presenting that have never done presenting on camera before. So I've been just coaching them um, and saying, you know what, the hardest part is... Um, introductions because you've got a specific way you're saying it and the outros because you have a specific thing you want to say when you get into the conversation and get things going 
then it feels really good. And yeah, it's a really bright space. Really, really cool. Um, absolutely loving it. Uh, what other photos have I got here? Okay, uh, this is a treat uh, I got for lunch yesterday in London. I went to a burrito place and I got a burrito bowl. Um, oh man, so good. Let's zoom out a little bit. Burrito bowl with lots of salad and goodness and just everything. When they say, do you want any extras? Oh, this is making me extra hungry now. We can do some zoom in like that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was good. It's got some food photos there. But then last, uh, but then when I got home in the evening and I did the food shopping, I had lots of great food and I couldn't decide what to get. And so um, something I like to do is, uh, this is something, you know, if you've, a lot of people have done this all the time, but I'm just going to tell you now, and if you haven't tried it, give it a go. I've never been hugely into like fruit mixes and stuff, but I get a bowl, get a big bowl, and then in it, I uh, get some kiwi fruit, chop up some kiwi fruit, some strawberries, bananas, and blackberries, no blueberries, blueberries, uh, and put it in a bowl. Really, really good, okay, get in the bowl. And then afterwards, you put in some granola or muesli. What is the healthier? Maybe it's uh, muesli is the healthier. But yeah, and then you put some Greek yogurt on top. And it's a massive treat, but it tastes so, so good. And you get all that fruity goodness. And it was really good. I had that last night. It was really, really good. So, yes. Kiwi fruit. A lot a lot of these fruit. Oh, actually, no. Strawberries. Blue, uh, strawberries and bananas I would eat on their own. Kiwi fruit I wouldn't. Um, does anyone eat kiwi? Is kiwi fruit something you would eat on your own? But yeah, nice. And, and the salad was really good. Oh yeah, honestly, burritos and burrito bowls are so, so good. Um, yeah, man. Because oh, strawberries are like, obviously, a lot of sugar in them. Um, and by the way, the context in today's topic, which we're not really talking about because I'm sort of going through it anyway, about being burnt out, a big part of it, uh, and, you know, things to boost your mental energy is about going to the core factors of your life, of what makes you, you. So, eating good food. Because when we're when we're feeling down, it's very easy to eat trash food, you know, getting those quick hit, hits. But just taking a step out and, you know, taking the time to get some healthy food that tastes good, and it will maybe not give you as much of a quick hit that unhealthy food would give you, but the next day you'll feel the, the impact a lot more. Going for walks. Um, you know, walking, uh, commuting. When I go to the station, it's a 20 minute walk back. Oh, trust me, I'm getting really hungry. I've not eaten since, I've not eaten in 12 hours. Uh, so I can't wait to cook some food. I've put the oven on downstairs actually. So as soon as um, I've done this live stream, I'll be ready to go and get stuff prepared. So I'll be eating in 45 minutes. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Probably gonna make myself some vegan burgers. Got some chicken burgers and then with avocado. And then, actually, I might put some cheese on it. I'm not vegan. have a lot of vegan products, but cheese. Although, I saw some vegan sliced cheese in Tesco's that I should probably try. That looks really, really good. Um, but with the avocado, is I smash it onto a, a vegan brioche bun. And then put chilli flakes and a bit of lemon lemon, uh, lemon juice. Oh, with um, spicy chicken, vegan chicken. Um, so, not actual chicken. For anyone that needs that clarification. Um, but yeah, I put a bit of cheese. And also I have vegan bacon, uh, which is awesome. And you can get it from, uh, and, and it's, it's really, really crispy. Do you know what? I'm going to show you this now. Give me one second. One second, one second. It was worth it was worth me getting. Ah, oh, Paul, Paul, thank you for the uh, thank you for the drive by, honestly. And you love the album, dude. Appreciate it. We'll definitely have to catch up soon. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, <laughs> please stop with all the food. 
Uh, how to boost mental energy? Easy. Hook up to the mainframe of a supercomputer, increase capacity to a thousand percent, and pray the overlord doesn't set your brain on fire. That is a good one, actually. I've never had that recommended before. So, um, plant menus from Aldi. So in the UK, it's a really cheap branch, but in the frozen section, spicy, no chicken burgers. And you know, why uh, just talk about it when I can show you? Like, you get two in a packet, but really, really good. So I have that on a vegan brioche bun. And then here we go. This is, um, oh my God, is that per, two slices. Okay, two slices, a lot of salt, but it's made from uh, pea protein. And um, yeah, streaky bacon. It is so good. So you get it extra crispy, let's put it on the chicken. So it's a proper like meat feast burger, but it tastes so good. So yeah, there's the vegan slice cheese. If I get that, then I'll have fully vegan burgers. But I also treated myself to this that I've not had before. Vegan uh, chocolate orange brownies. And the thing is like, even though the, the fat and saturated is, is like, you know, in the red, it's a lot less than what you'd get um, if you had like, the full stuff. Bacon looks a little plasticky. Do you know what? So that you get like some of the top brands of like vegan bacon and I've had them and they're all right. This is the best stuff, but I think it's just cause it's the extra crispy. You can make it extra, extra crispy. Yes. Yeah, some, some isn't good. Some isn't good. So, some of it isn't, isn't good. And others is, is pretty good. Um, right. I'm just going to put this back now. Um, but keep talking in the chat. Like, what do you do to boost your energy? I would love to know. I will be back. And in the meantime, I'll just put this away. Let's just have this. when you pause it, it 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 fades it out that's a good thing i didn't want it to abruptly stop let's have a look what your uh your suggestions were what were they chap have you been to the dna nudge in common garden i haven't you can get your dna what dna nudge i'm writing this down let's have a look Let's have a look at this. I know there are sort of sites you can do it. DNA nudge. God, my tummy is going now. I am hungry. Welcome to the DNA nudge. Welcome to DNA nudge. Do you work for them, by the way? <laughs> I might put myself down here. Our DNA bean and app nudge. No white coats. So you what? You just plug something into your brain. I'm joking. Oh look, I'm sold on that little happy weird face thing. Interested. Well, that looks intimidating. Okay. Okay. In interesting. I've not heard of that. Enough sleep. Sleep is like the biggest superpower we all have, and I need to get better at it. I've I've spoken about this app before, Sleep Cycle. Um, and by the way, next week is Mental Health Week, so I am going to do a proper mental health episode next Wednesday. And to be honest, I might just do it based on a workshop that I am doing. I'm doing a mental health life hacks workshop at work next Tuesday, so I might I'll have some slides for it. So I might just um get that organized but um yeah sleep cycle this app i love it it's free um and uh i love it it gives you statistics of the week best sleep quality is in new zealand 
Worst is in Japan. <laughs> Who's the earliest to bed on average? South Africa, 11 o'clock at night. Who's the latest? What? Saudi Arabia, 5.53 a.m. Wait, is that because of fasting at the moment? Lee snoring, Saudi Arabia. Okay. I love it. But um, yeah, sleep cycle I use, and I love it to, to check my sleep quality. Highly, highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. Um, but yeah, sleep is absolutely crucial. Um, yeah, music is a great mental booster. K-pop. Oh, do you know what? I've got on Beat Saber. Um, oh, what is the uh, K-pop group? Um, that did Dynamite. Um, it was uh, BTS. BTS. And actually, I really liked a lot of their tunes. Yeah. And yeah, talking to friends, listening to stand-up comedy is really, really good. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm not a huge seafood consumer, but something I do like is salmon on bagels with cream cheese. Again, a bit of lemon. To be honest, lemon, lemon juice I put in so much of my food. When I make mashed potatoes, <laughs> does this make me so does this sound gross to anyone? So when I make mashed potatoes, I put a bit of cheese in. I also put some lemon juice in and I put some chili flakes in and I mix that together and it just gives it a really oh man, the flavour's so good. So good. Um yeah, exactly. So what I would say is for next week, for next week, next Wednesday, and I'll schedule it in super early, have a think about what are your top life hacks. So this, this, today could be a bit of a, a, a prelude. A, 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 pre, a prelude. A prelude. Prelude. I can't even pronounce today. It's a pre, is it sort of a build up, a bit of practice for next week's session. So have a think over the next week. What are your life hacks? What are the things that really make a difference in your life? And what would you say? If there were five things you're going to recommend someone else, what would they be? I think sleep, good food, exercise. Doesn't have to be strenuous. Just going for a walk, forest bathing, shinrin-yoku, as the uh, Japanese saying goes. That can be really, really helpful. Music. Mental health is 90% brain power. And 10% what? 10% what? Oh, I don't really get the meat replacement burgers. I'm totally an omnivore, and I think veggie burgers and bean burgers are yummy. Uh, yeah, I've had a really nice mushroom burgers. Can't remember what burger place it was, but it was it was a chain by uh, Wembley Arena, and um, the vegan options. There was like eight different burgers. Normally, it's like here's the vegan burger. It was here. It was, and but I had the, I had, I had a vegetarian. I had a, um, a mushroom and goat's cheese burger. It was really, really good. Yeah, it was, BTS it was, yeah. Um, the Mental Health Media Foundation. I don't know if I do. I'm going to look it up. Thank you for that recommendation. That's cool. Definitely check out Sleep Cycle. Mm-mm-mm. Oh man, yeah, Synth Riders or Beat Saber. Synth Riders I need to get back to a lot, but I do Beat Saber on most days. Um, oh dude, try it, try it. Yeah, the uh, mashed potatoes with chilli flakes, lemon juice, and you can get the bottles of the lemon juice, just put that in, and then some, you know, cut up some cheese, mix that in, and uh, it'll take a few times to get it right. Karina says, exercise, exercise, exercise. Once you get into the habit, the positive hit you get can get you out of the darkest of moods, being mentally drained. If uh, it was a lifeline for me during lockdowns. It's so true. And and actually reflecting on some of the darkest points in my life, there were times where I was like borderline having an out of body experience because I was so um, messed up from some experiences and I just didn't know what to do anymore. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for a run. And going for a run, and do you know, do you know why going for a run in particular is, is really great for, for 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 dealing with major moments of um, mental catastrophe? I'll call it. Um, it's because breathing. We've spoken about this before with mindfulness. 
Breathing is an anchor, an anchor that brings you to the present, yeah? Not thinking about the future and what's up and coming, the things that haven't even happened yet, and not looking at the past, you know, memories, things that aren't happening now, but you're bringing into the present to feel about it. When you're running, you're thinking about each step and you start, you know, you still be mindful of what your body's doing, the breathing, all that sort. And so it's an anchor for the present. And exercise releases endorphins. It reduces cortisol levels, the stress hormone. Uh, and it's good. And it's not just good for in the moment. You feel better for it afterwards. One of my top tips also is if you're having a really, really bad day and it's not too early, um, go to bed. But go to bed with a plan. Have your clothes ready by you know your bathroom door. If you can leave it there or just put it by your bed, bed bedroom door. Because when you wake up, you want to be completely automatic with the things you do you want to get up go get you get your clothes go to the to go to the bathroom have a shower have a bath do your teeth make yourself a cup of tea maybe then do your teeth afterwards or else it you get the taste of like mint which you might like with your teeth um but yeah but just having that automated because what you'll find is for the first, even if you've had the absolute most abysmal news or crisis if you go to sleep when you wake up you'll sort of go in this automated part of this routine and you won't even be thinking about it. Now, eventually, those sad thoughts may return if you've been dealing with a traumatic thing. That will return as well. But at least for that moment, you'll not be going into the new day straight away facing the trauma. You'll have this sense of positive momentum that can really get you going. Um, treadmill. And wherever I'm in my flat, that's awesome. That's good going. Forest bathing is very, very cool. Walking, definitely. Walking is just good to get the blood going. You know, sometimes people, when they talk on the phone, they walk around, they pace around the room. It's because it's a way for your body to, you know, start generating uh, momentum. You know, it gets the, if your heart's pumping, the blood's going around your body, you're able to think better. So it's really, really, really good for that. Not entirely sure if this counts. I'm going to say it does count before even reading the rest of it. But one thing I feel helps my mental health is to become desensitized to all the worst words and insults possible. If I don't let it bother me, then I'm in control. That's interesting. Another way is to just, you know, face them head on. And look, I'm not saying that what works for you works for you. Um, I feel I used to be much more stronger skinned with the internet than I am today. And I think it's because I've stepped away from it all. So now whenever I get stuff that's negative my way, it's a rarity. And straight away, I'm just like, oh. I feel this sense of getting defensive. But it's about finding what works with you because it's all about playing mind tricks for yourself. Cognitive behavior therapy. It's about learning thought patterns. It's about learning thought methods. Ways to, I say, play tricks on yourself. It's about um, how do you change your perceptions because reality around you is happening. What you can change is how you react to it. And that's what the trick is. Um, yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Sleep cycle. Let me know how you get on. We'll talk about it next Wednesday for sure. Uh, I have quite happy memories looking back on some aspects of the first lockdown as I rediscovered uh, many green walking routes in Islington, which I hadn't. Oh, lots of great stuff there for sure. Um, walk or run is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a sleep cycle. Sleep cycle. Um, yeah, is the app. Um What's a spin class? Remind me what a spin class is. Yeah, remind me, remind me of that. Subconsciously. Good to see you, Taj. Good to see you, my friend. All about the power. Um, but yeah, mixing it up. Because you, because the thing is, routine is good to a certain degree. The challenge is when you start getting into a routine and it becomes so automated, you're brain completely disengages with the activity and starts then wondering about other things and if it's about mindfulness you're no longer being mindful because your mind is having a chance to wonder because you're used to that activity so yeah mixing things up um oh so many great suggestions here uh breaking the habit of being yourself by joe uh, dispenser it breaks down our personal habits and recurring feelings and helps us to reprogram literally change my uh, and my close friends' lives. That's great to hear. Breaking the habit of being yourself. 
reminds me of a lyric from a metal band that I know some people are going to be sick of hearing because I mention it all the time, a band called Misery Signals, and they have one that's called Rehearsing Who We Think We Are. That is the notion for me of the human condition. No matter what you're doing, whenever you're in a situation or an environment, even if it's something you've done many times before, you're just rehearsing who you think you are because that is what life is. Life is about is going in situations and you're constantly playing out your persona. Jim Carrey talks about it a lot. Am I Jim Carrey? Who am I? Um, and ASMR, another great suggestion. Um, great, great, great. Oh, spin classes. Uh, cycling indoors to cool music lights. Okay, that sounds really cool. I'm definitely going to look it up. Listen, everybody, I know we're not doing a game. I need to cook some food because I've not eaten in 10 hours. Uh, sorry, 12 hours. Uh, and I need to get some good rest. But um, I want to say thank you for tuning in. Apologies for being late. Um, and I, I, I give the apologies, not worrying about it. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But I do want to apologize because um, I did make a decision after work to go for a drink. Um, and I was pushing my luck with time. But... Um, I will be back next Wednesday. Next Wednesday is Mental Health Week. It's Mental Health Awareness Month at the moment, predominantly in the US, but obviously it can be celebrated anywhere. And why not celebrate it all month round? Uh, but next Wednesday is going to be uh, Mental Health and Wellbeing Week, uh, or Mental Health Week. So let's go for it. Uh, and with 15 of you watching right now, if you haven't already, do hit the thumbs up button uh, for all that. Um, if we can get it to 15 likes before I close this stream down. Um, and obviously, as always, when I end the stream, I'll be here in the post credits. So I want to say huge love to you all. Thanks for tuning in. Choose love and love, respect, empathy. Adios to next time. Tell me what you thought about today, what your thoughts are going into the week ahead. And it's, do it's down to you. Much love.
Hey everyone, post credit scene always. So actually there was something I was gonna talk about at the start of the show, just like, like a random little story and uh, I totally forgot. So here I am uh, to talk about it. So I got for Christmas, I wanted a new water bottle and I got this one, which is, making sure I'm not pouring water over my desk. Well, it's called an ocean bottle. Designed by K8 in Norway. And um, it's basically made out of plastic recycled from the ocean. But what I love about it is not only that it maintains cold drink, like water that I've got in here, but it also maintains hot drinks. Um, but it's also got, I don't know if it's Bluetooth. Do you know what? Let's give this a go. Andrea, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for tuning in at the end. I love having friends from all over the world. Andrea being from Venezuela. Oh, just knowing people from all over the world is amazing. Um, right, I believe it's, maybe it's Bluetooth. But if I, I can connect to this bottle, I need to work out how to do this. There we go. It's done a tag. Wow, wait, let's do this now. Can I bring it, can I share it on here? If I can, let's do this. We suggest use, why is it not? Oh, this is annoying, it's not supported. What about if I do it on? Will it work on Chrome? No, it's not. It's only going to do it on my phone. That's really, really annoying. So, um, basically, well, I'll hold my phone up to the camera. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I've got to register my bottle. But basically, it will, um, once I've registered it, it will um, tell me where in the ocean uh, this plastic is from. So, yeah, really cool, right? Cool little thing. Good products. And you see a lot of furniture and great stuff being made out of uh, things from the ocean. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Right, I'm going to get some food now. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great, great week. I'm going to still be taking a break from Instagram. Um, but, yeah, if you do want to check me out on socials and you haven't already, uh, you can do so by visiting here. Website patreon.com and Instagram where I am most active but haven't been active much lately and that is so true Kelly don't bottle it don't bottle it okay guys have a wonderful week take care of yourselves I'm gonna be getting lots of rest and uh yeah love respect empathy adios to next time for real this time <laughs>